Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you very much for joining us for our Monday weather video and our final week of weather videos for 2019. How fast has this year gone? It's unbelievable. It'll be 2020 before we know it. And speaking of things that are going to be here before we know it, it's Christmas next week. So we've also got the latest forecast for that. But before we get all to that, quite a lot going on weather-wise this week. So let's kick off with the animated wind map for Monday, showing the subtropical breeze coming down across the entire North Island and feeding into parts of the South Island. That's why it's warmer than average, certainly by night. Um, warm temperatures at night, double digits in most parts of New Zealand. In fact, all parts of the country warmer than average tonight as a result of that subtropical breeze coming down. Developing low, that is developing between two big highs. High number one, that is departing, and high number two, that's out over Australia, bringing them that heat wave this week. So the heat wave is forming. It peaks around the middle of the week. Most states in Australia will get up to 40 degrees and some inland might hit 50 degrees Celsius. But New Zealand's not likely to get caught up in it because of this low and another southerly change coming on Friday. And it sort of ushers that warmer weather away from New Zealand. So this is the setup for Tuesday. In comes the low with heavy rain. The uh, areas in green give bursts of heavy rain for parts of Northland, Auckland, Waikato, and getting down towards Taranaki, the west coast, and Nelson. Other areas, it's a little more patchy, but you might find a couple of heavy falls also come in around uh, Canterbury on the eastern side. It is all subtropical air that is being fed into that low. On Wednesday, it all starts to move away, and we get the cooler change sweeping in across the country. So Wednesday's when parts of Aussie hit 50 degrees potentially. At the same time, we've got a cooler, refreshing south to southwest change across the country. So you'll actually find some parts of New Zealand will be cooler than average by day on Wednesday as a result of that southerly. So we are not being caught up in the same weather as Australia is. Now on Thursday, things do warm up a little bit around New Zealand. This is the hot air over there. You can see the red line. Everything sort of inside that on the Aussie side is hotter than average. So some of that warm air does sort of kind of drift our way, but there's, there's cloud, there's showers, and it's not quite a straight line as you might think, because while that is Thursday set up, this is Fridays. And you can see there's another cold front sweeping northwards, and that means cooler air again coming out of the Southern Ocean or around the South Tasman Sea. Now, some of that warm air is, is sort of caught up in it, but it's mostly stuck out over Australia. So you're going to find parts of New Zealand this week, again on Friday, cooler than average as a result of these cold fronts and this more spring-like weather pattern we've got uh, that's coming through New Zealand this week. Now our final map is for Saturday and it shows again high pressure just to the north and warmer air flows coming down but this is about as close as it gets. You can see that red line pushing out that hot air from Australia. Some of it I guess might be felt in New Zealand but with this unsettled weather around us, I don't think it's going to be um, impacting our temperatures too much. But we will keep an eye on it for perhaps around Sunday, Monday into next week. There might be a chance we get some of that hotter air from Australia. But at this stage, it looks likely to retreat back thanks to these uh, colder, windier changes coming our way. Now, before I go, we've got the rainfall totals up on our website. So if you want to drill down, we've got 24-hour, 48-hour, 72-hour, and five days, which I can't work out on hours. Easier to say five days. And then we've also got this map, or this story down here, Christmas Day Crystal Ball. Take a look at it. We're not locking in Christmas Day, but we are giving you the first sort of indicator on what it might look like. And it does look drier for the north and maybe a few showers around the south at this stage Nothing too alarming, that's the good sign. And also our 10-day forecast at weatherwatch and ruralweather.co.nz are now giving you that hourly forecast right through until December 25th, so you can start to plan a little bit better. That's all from me. We'll update you again on Tuesday with the latest.